The Israel-Hamas war dominating talks at the U.N. Security Council meeting amid fears that this conflict could grow. Israel's neighbor to the east, Jordan, is playing a critical role in diplomatic talks surrounding this conflict. Jordan also borders the West Bank, as you see there on that map. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs for Jordan, Ayman Safadi, is joining us now from New York. And Foreign Minister, we appreciate you being with us. I know that you also spoke on behalf of Arab nations today at a meeting of regional partners aiming for peace in the Middle East. So simply, what was your message? The message is that we've got to stop this war, we've got to stop the agony it's producing, and we've got all come together uh, to work for peace, the only uh, path to guaranteeing the security of both Israelis and Palestinians. And what is your take on Israeli officials calling on U.N. Secretary General Antonio Gutierrez to resign following his statement that, quote, the attacks by Hamas did not happen in a vacuum, essentially placing blame for this recent terror attack on this, you know, previous previous conflict that's been going on for quite some time between Israel and Palestinian people? Well, uh, 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 Guterres uh, spoke as he should uh, uh, in the name of the principles of the, of the United Nations, uh, in the name of international law. He did what uh, his job demands that he do. He did what humanity demands that he do. He called for uh, ending the war. He called for ending occupation. Uh, he called for peace. And if that uh, is uh, a reason for criticism by some, then, uh, then we are in, in a really very, very bad place. Well, Jordan is, of course, one of the few Arab states that have signed a peace agreement with Israel. Uh, the Jewish state's war against Hamas now raising fears of a wider conflict in that region. So how concerned are you about that possibility? We're, we're extremely concerned. We're, we're extremely concerned at the death and destruction this war is producing in Gaza. We're extremely concerned about it spilling over into the West Bank, into Lebanon. And we do believe that uh, th this time around, the risk of, of regional war uh, that uh, will be disastrous for all are, are, are real. Mm -hmm. And Jordan and Egypt so far have also said, though, that they will not allow Palestinian <clears throat> refugees to enter. And we know that Jordan has been very involved in the efforts to bring much needed food and aid into Gaza. But my question is, is allowing refugees to enter still a red line, as we heard uh, King Abdullah put it last week? It is a red line. Uh, we have 2.6 million uh, Palestinian refugees registered with UNRWA in Jordan. Uh, uh, population displacement is, is a, a crime of war. Uh, it is a clear violation of Geneva Convention and its, its protocols. It will not solve the problem. It, it will only expand the area of conflict. Palestinians deserve to live in peace and dignity on their land, side by side Israel, so that both peoples can look to a future free from the uh, disastrous impact of war that we, we see today. Uh, Israel should not and cannot be allowed to transfer the crisis that occupation creates and, and uh, to, 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 to the region. What, where everybody needs to be focused on, again, right now, stop this uh, absurd war, uh, stop this, this death and destruction, stop this action that's only producing more hatred on both sides, and let's all get back to a path that can deliver just peace that will secure a better future, a safe lives for both Israelis and Palestinians and the rest of us in the region. And in terms of a, of a path to peace here, King Abdullah also said recently, you know, that the only path to a safe and secure Middle East is a two-state solution. But many, including Israelis, believe that a two-state solution is, is simply impossible. Uh, what would Jordan's vision for that actually be? It is impossible because uh, they, they don't want it, but it is the only realistic uh, way forward. And, and again, uh, uh, as you said, we've had a peace treaty for, for, for almost 30 years in Jordan. We, have, we know this conflict. We, we know the path to solving it. And the only path is the two-state solution. Of course, Israeli measures, settlement building, uh, confiscation of land is rendering that, that solution uh, less viable day by day. But the only alternative is one state. And one state is not going to be a solution. It's going to be an ugly reality where you'll see apathy. Will Israel give democratic rights to Palestinians or will it not uh, so uh, again let's not uh, just avoid uh, uh, addressing issues as they are if it's not two-state solution then it's continued conflict it's continued suffering and the the threat of war will be uh, with us year in year out oh, foreign minister we so appreciate your time with us today thank you very much for being here thank you so much appreciate it of course
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.